Hey yo guys, what is up? Justin G here. We're back in brand new video. Today guys, we are back with Zombie Raider! Oh, the most craziest game to ever exist. So yeah, we are back. We are here and I got my name as Constipated Gamers and I am level 5 as of right now. So let's get into this game. They've done a lot of updates since the last time we have been here and I got my own base and everything else. So... As you guys can see, there are giants in this game. Um, they have been in this game for, from uh, now. They actually work, and you can go kill them, and you can get stuff off them. This is what I this is what I got as of right now. Did not mean to do that. Let me pick that up. Did not mean to do that, but yeah, I got myself a a hard hat helmet. Got me some goddamn clothes, and got me some defense. Let's get these zombies. So, zombies are really the way you can get XP. It really is the only way. And there are a lot of them spawn right here. So you can um, basically get yourself leveled up pretty easy right here. So yeah. This is my inventory. I got myself an AK. I got myself a slingshot, bow and arrow, a revolver, a hammer. Got myself some gold. Got some stone, battery, arrows, medicine, a ball of water. Oh, and I got myself a bag of cement. Yeah. So. I'm going to go back to my base and I'm going to show y'all where I am. Also, the clans, there's been uh, there's been one clan and there's uh, there's a couple of them. I'm actually trying to join this one as of right now. I'm pending. And um, Nick already got in. I was trying to leave and make, a, make my own clan, but it didn't really work. So, yeah. So, now I'm back to pending and waiting to join. So... Just have to wait and see if I get accepted. And there are four clans as of right now. So if you guys want to get in and make one, you guys can. But um, you have to get like $50 to make a clan. And it is really difficult to get $50. I managed yeah, to get if you guys see me walk around, you know who I am. Constipated Gamers. We out here. So yeah. I will catch you guys when I'm at my base. Hey yo, what is this? Yeah, I hold entire box it, like a uh, box made out of safes, and you got some, uh, some sewing machines and some chests. Oh yeah, something else I must mention: you can't do the unlimited safes thing no more, um, because now it costs 500 money to place down safes. So yeah, it's not as far as uh, as far as I know, it's not. Let me get myself a drink, and I'm going back to my base. Hey, I ran into another base. What we got here? Looks like we got boxes of supplies and a whole bunch of dead zombies. Looks like a possibly a zombie horde, I think. None of them have anything good on them. What we got here? Supplies? Nothing? Constipated. No. Cable Man was here. Yep. I was here. Alright. There's really, there wasn't anything at that base. I think that base was abandoned, to be honest. Um, I think someone just built that there. So, yeah. Alright, guys, I have made it to my base. So, yeah. Let me give you guys a little tour. I have not checked since yesterday on this base. 
so my base could have got raided when walls may have been broken. Well, one wall has been broken. Basically, the way I, what I do to fix these is I'll pick up, pick back up the planks. Let me drop a stone on the ground here real quick. My base gets raided daily, I'd say. And then I um, put me a wall. If it would register that I got this in my backpack, that is. Mm, nope. Marker. Alright. See, so yeah, ignore that my base is literally full of scrap metal. Someone decided that they were going to come into my base and place a whole bunch of safes. To prove that these aren't mine, there's the proof that they ain't mine. I had... They were everywhere in this base, so... Anyways, it don't really matter. I don't think it's going to be permanent base anyways. I can't do much with it. There's, um... Right now, there's only, like, one map in this game. And so, I think there's a lot of competition going around. So, yeah. Um, that's basically how this game works. Everyone literally goes and finds whatever base they can rob for free, and then they get everything they can get out of it. Even though there wasn't even that much stuff in my base to begin with, I don't even have that much good stuff in it. People just went in it and grabbed whatever they could out of it. So, for the update, I took advantage of this, and I placed down me a whole bunch of trees, and I had a whole bunch of crops, but it looks like my crops are all gone. I don't know what happened there. I had some bamboo crops and stuff, but now I cannot do that no more. Looks like, uh, bamboo. Looks like I'll need a hoe and a bamboo to actually make stuff. Hey, look, a zombie spawned on me. Bop. So, yeah. Let's see what we got here. A rare power tool. I can't remember what power tools are usually used for. And what we got here. Kill sprayer giant. Oh, okay. Alright, well, let's go to this. No, I already seen what's at this flag. There's nothing important. We could go to all these flags over here. Thinking about it. See, if this giant right here was a smasher giant, then I would actually go after it. But as of right now, it's not worth it. Those things will kill you in a matter of seconds. So, yeah. That's basically what happens. Oh yeah, also some dude decided that they were going to spawn like a million saves over here. And I think that's gold. And there was a whole bunch of gold right here. Give me some water. Anyways, there's a whole bunch of wood towers here. They protect my base pretty often. But yeah. Built a base, and looks like one of my bow traps is broken. So let me see if I can fix this. Let me make me a bow, uh, bow and arrow. Make yourself a bow. So how do you make a bow again? Two sticks and a rope. All right, easy enough. Vines. A rope. And two sticks. And so, easy way to get to get this done. Machete it down. Machete that log. Machete that plank. And you pick up some sticks. Then you come over to your crafting table. Hey, we be crafting. We be crafting. We be crafting. All right, so what we do is we, uh, a we be crafty. What we do is we drop a stone. I did not say that. Pick your stone back up, fool, and then you can go here, and boom, it says it's in there. So, yeah, that's what I do. Um, because this game's backpack is kind of broken. 
and you just drop stuff to like make a register also I didn't really realize that this actually does work on a mouse I didn't really think about plugging it in and see if it was gonna work because I was using my trackpad but yeah let's fix this back up but yeah like um, I need to get me into a clan and there should be like a there should be like a main base for like a for like the clan because that's that's how the game used to work is that every single map there was like a main base for like each clan as far as I can remember and uh, this is Skeletor and I'm trying to join this clan since Nick's in it too I'm trying to join it and so we can get some more flags do you see El Deli um, they are basically I think they're accepting anyone and they are getting a lot of flags right now and I believe these this one is ran by developer I think so I'm gonna wait a couple days and see if I get accepted into this one and if I don't I'll go on to I'll just go to El Deli or Nemesis whichever one but I'm pretty sure I don't know how much these people of these guys are accepting I'll ask in the Discord. So yeah, let me refill my water. But yeah, before the update, all this stuff was free to build. These aren't even my safes either. Proof. I built my base right by all these safes. I'm pretty sure some of these tree beds weren't even mine. Yep, not mine, not mine, not mine. None of these are mine here. That's why I built it by here. Because it'd be, you know, it's just like a little beginner beginner base, you know. I don't have too much in my chest anyways. Triple layer wall safes. Honestly, it wasn't a bad idea to make a base out of safes. Ooh, a marauder camp. What we got in here? Empty. Oh my god. You know what? Get out of my, get out of my swamp. Nope, that's gonna take too long. Ah, uh, guess you can't get out of my swamp. That's gonna take way too long, guys. Hey, a swine cub. Move you right there. Nope, didn't work. A lit campfire. A lit torch. Do I have a torch in my inventory? I do switch that now I can have light on me at all times all right also I want to thank you guys for a hundred and forty views on my last video that was really cool I didn't expect my first zombie raider video to blow up like that I really did not expect that to happen I really did not I thought that was pretty crazy to be honest get a drink I honestly found it pretty crazy. Didn't expect my video to blow up a little bit. See, so yeah, I'm gonna make a. So I decided to make this video to see if it gets a good amount of views. And uh, my second video I made of this game got around, I think, 30 or 40. Alright, Mr. Medic. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna have you follow me, Mr. Medic. Let's -a go. All right, we're gonna go over to these flags over here, and we're gonna see what they have. We're gonna see what kind of cool stuff they got over here. So, flag number one is surrounded by safes in a crafting table. Not very, not very much things here. And then the second base has safes around it and there's a grenade on the ground don't mind if I do I found myself a grenade I don't know what to do with it though can I put it in my hand oh I bet you I could use that oh you can oh it's a one-time use okay that's pretty cool that's pretty cool right there 
that is pretty sick. Nothing at third flag. Fourth flag, nothing. Terrain lot. Well, I just made another flag. I don't know how I did it. It's an access restricted to owner. And I'm not even in a clan, so I don't even know how I did that. Ooh, a whole bunch of zombies. Got anything good on you? Nope. Nothing. Nothing good. See, guys, there's no point really in taking any of this stuff from their bases. From their bodies. Because um, they only do one damage, and they're, like, really damaged. So, I mean, that's basically what it says. Medic, can you heal these zombies and make them wake back up? That'd be funny. That could happen. I found one person's base. Doesn't have any walls around it. Looks like someone just started like a little basic area base. What you got here? Nothing? Crazy. Alright guys, we are heading to the city. We are going to see what we got in here. We got some sentry turrets. We're going to see what kind of cool stuff we got. I don't I can't remember if we've been here before if I recorded it in a video. Oh yeah, I did. It was in the first video. Forgot about that. But yeah. You can basically walk around here. You can get inside these chests and they have some pretty good stuff in them. Most of the time. Got a refrigerator, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Anything good in there? Cornbread. You know me, I do like my cornbread. From back in my day. Yeah, hey, that was good right there. So yeah, you can, um... I remember back in the day when people made videos about this game and everyone, and everyone was rocking with about 50 of these. Because these things heal you up a lot. These things heal you up quick. And I'm talking about, ooh, I'm talking about quick. So yeah, they they heal you up really, really fast. And yeah, poison spray. Gun parts and poison vessel. Capsule. But yeah, these things heal you up very, very fast. And this is what they use to raid bases with. That had a whole bunch of like sentries and flamethrowers and poison and stuff like that around them. And man, I remember that their bases were so strong to the point where people's devices couldn't handle it. Or it would lag. Killing this effective with a pickaxe. That thing was fighting back. You better have am armor. No? God dang, man. What else we got around here? Looks like we got ourselves a container we can look in. Thank you, Mr. Medic. Empty. Let's talk to this guy. Oh yeah, everyone used to rock around with with sledgehammers. I remember I used to. How dare, Mike? If you looking to craft your own iron items, and you want what you need, a furnace will melt the iron and get some to an anvil, and then turn them into them tools and that dare weapons. That's crazy right there. Man, which can you make? Iron axe, iron pickaxe, iron arrow, a hoe, throwing knife, shuriken, iron knife, hammer, bolt, metal plate, and buckets, and stuff like that. Ooh, a large backpack. Let me get that. Oh, yeah, that's right. This large backpack has been sitting here on the street for literally days. I'm not even joking. I wonder if I could put something in it. Let's see here. Alright, now let's look at it again. Let's see how long that'll stay there. Maybe someone will find it and get some jeans. Stone. Nope. Trader Caravan. Let's check this out. You can usually check them out. I guess you can't check them on the outs on the insides. <sighs> Man. Oh, we found the jackpot. We found the jackpot of food. Holy crap. 
rat, guys. Our backpack's full. Who needs a cement bag nowadays, honestly? But yeah, I suggest to walk around with bottles of water. Because bottle of water, it fills you up. Like, all you need is like two. And it fills you up pretty much all the way. But yeah, that's about it on uh, in the city. We ran back into this area again. We're going to check the helicopter base out. I am not going to go kill that giant because it is way, way, way too strong. If I was level 10 and I had my level 10 weapons, then I would. But as of right now, that thing is way too strong. I could drag him from here all the way over to here where the sentry turrets are, but I have a really big chance of getting killed from here all the way to here because he can shoot. Because he's a sprayer giant. If he was a smasher giant, he wouldn't be a problem. Because he won't shoot. Because he just has big fists. And you have like metal. They're made out of like metal. And they go raw. So yeah. We're gonna go over here to the helicopter make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my new videos thank you mr. medic hey look at that another infected bop bop oh oh yeah I like how the thing auto does it for you and I got me a medic over here. Yes, sir. Alright. Let's keep going. I have to do my research on, like, YouTube. How to be best player in Zombie Raider Theta. That's what I should do. Because that's totally right. Oh. Oh. Get him. Let's check out what we got here. Zombies. Man, you don't want to mess with me. Oh. Watch, I'll kill this thing in two hits. God dang undead. Look at that. Went right underground. See, even the ground didn't like him, so they had to bury him. That's how fast he was disintegrating. Yeah. How am I getting healed? I don't know how. Uh, that's one fast zombie. You're on a mission, aren't you? Water. What we got here? Got any medicine? Yes, we do. So, people used to come here. At least I used to come here all the time. And I would rob these shelves for medicine. Seems like there's a good amount, but my, uh, seems like there is a good amount, but my, uh, backpack is full. That is one thing. You need to make it possible to upgrade backpacks. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Are you all thinking what I'm thinking? There is a big humongous zombie over here that I said I wasn't going to go after because he shoots. What if I threw this grenade at him? What if? What if I just did that? That would be amazing. Let's go do it. Come on, Mr. Medic. You and me, we're about to go defeat this zombie. All right, it's time to activate ultimate gamer mode. Ultimate gamer mode activated. Let's go. Go well for both of us. So hit that like button and subscribe, because we are about to go defeat this giant. We are about to go kill him. We gotta make sure. I gotta make sure I got everything I need in my inventory out. 
put that pickaxe on the ground. We're gonna put this grenade in my hand. We're about to throw this grenade at him. It's gonna kill him in one hit. We all know this. It's it should kill him in one hit. According to my calculations, and all the math that I did, and all the uh, thinking I did before I came to the conclusion that I was gonna throw this at him, that um, one grenade should kill this zombie. Just just one grenade should kill him like that. Oh yeah, gold ore. You can get gold nuggets, and then you can make gold bars. Alright guys, we are ready. Okay, Mr. Medic. So what I'm gonna do... Okay, here's the plan, Mr. Medic. What we're gonna do is, you and me, we're gonna go right in there. We are going to throw the grenade, and it's gonna kill him. It's gonna kill him, just like that. It's gonna be that easy. We don't even have to do anything else. And all you gotta do is make sure that you heal me. And that tree just died. But, what you gotta do is you gotta make sure you heal me. And, in case I get hit, in case I get shot. But, that's most likely not gonna happen at all. Because, that doesn't happen. So, yeah. Let's go. Charge! Oh, jeez, he's a big boy. Go with a grenade. Ooh. Ah, uh, dang, it didn't kill him. Back up. Get out of there, Mr. Medic! Run! Run! This is supposed to happen. This is supposed to happen. Revolver! Shoot the fat, man! Ow! Okay, nope. Yes, Mr. Medic, do your job. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Heal me up, heal me up. He is big. He's a big boy. You know what? He he might we actually might be able to we actually might be able to take him back to the base. Okay, plan B, plan B. Take him to the base. Little mention is that they should improve the textures. Yeah, that's one thing. Uh, the people in the Discord though, I mean, some people seem to like it, but to me, uh, eh, I kind of miss the old textures to be honest. But I think they did it to make it so it wouldn't lag on anyone's computers. But um, and I haven't had any issues with. I used an older computer. I haven't had any issues, um, but I do think they should improve the textures on the zombie, this zombie at least, but yeah, other than that, this game is pretty good. Come on, zombie, come over here to the sentry guns and the bow traps. Why isn't nothing going after you? Yes. Yes, get him! Get him! Yo! All right. So it is getting him, and uh, it is taking 90 health off him every like couple seconds. I don't know why the bow trap's not going after him, but hey, it don't matter. As long as it's losing health, I'm pretty sure that these things drop uh, poison spray. I think they they drop something that's related to poison. Let me get a thumbnail real quick. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. That's probably not going to be my thumbnail. But, yeah. Yeah, I probably won't do that as my thumbnail. I'll probably be like, oh! Like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. But actually, I don't know. Maybe if I can, maybe I move a little closer. And ooh. Um, let's see here. Let's go like this. Let's go. How about, uh, like, the opposite way, where it actually looks like it's going to work in? And we'll go like this. We'll go like this. Oh. 
we can go like this. We can go like. Oh. Yeah, that's the thumbnail right there. Just a good old dab from back in the day. You know how it is. We be dabbing, we be dabbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we need another dab episode, guys? Leave it down below in the comments. Dang it! I didn't get to finish the strike on him. But hey, it don't matter. Let's see what he dropped. He dropped metal boots. Nice. What else he dropped? That's that's what that's all he dropped. All right, so we're gonna put him put this machete in our hands, and we're gonna we're gonna break him. Nah, this is our trophy right here. If I could pick him up and drag him back to my base as like a trophy, I would. <laughs> and he dropped a gold bar. Nice. So yeah, that's a w another way to get gold bars in this game. You can find them on the ground from giants, or you can break gold boulders, and then you can get gold nuggets, and then you can make them make ten, and then you can uh, make uh, ten gold nuggets equals one gold. And um, it's pretty it's pretty easy to get gold in this game, and you can get rich off it by selling it for a hundred dollars. But the money system does not work as of right now in the game. So yeah, let me see if I can actually put on these metal boots. Nope, they're only level 10, so they're locked for me. But yeah, thank so Mr. Sentry Turret. He was pretty lit. Well, the bosses we got on the mat. That's about it. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to leave that make sure to Press that like button and subscribe. Bah, 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 bah. Hey, we'll see you guys later. Peace out. You. Um, what was that? Hey, there's a dude here. Elamarist. I think he's the leader of El Deli. Yes, he is. Let me say what's up to him. Before we end this video. So yeah. Peace out guys. Oh.